Ah! So I actually managed to figure it out. Okay. Sandra Bland. The woman should not be dead. But dead she is. When is the law the law? And if those charged with caretaking of the law, that's all of us. But the, the enforcement of said law, when the agents of the law have no respect for the law, do we have law? Is there really a law? Um, I'm a firm believer in what's supposed to be the, the social contract. But a contract connotes the notion that we all participants in the contract agree to uphold the contract. But more and more, we're being asked to obey an agreement that we're the only ones involved in. Those charged with the caretaking, the upholding, the enforcement of the law, they can do whatever they want to do. And victims of such a practice are flippantly told, well, to get over it. Well, you have to respect the law. No, you don't. It's not, it's not even close. We're, uh, we are in trouble. I think we passed upon the trouble. Um, quite often, by the time you realize, uh oh, I'm in trouble, you've been in trouble for quite a while. Uh, we've got people, not only if it was just officers, of an officer here and there, individuals that would break the law and duly punished properly even more severely because they should know better um it'd be all right but like in missouri with michael brown we saw an entire system a local system a local municipality do everything possible to get darren wilson off and i don't care what you say Okay, Mike Brown's a thug. I, I don't believe that, but I mean, well, he, he was no angel. But it was obvious, you know, you, you got control. When you can draw your weapon, when you can put handcuffs on a person. When you got a radio, you can call for help and ensure an arrest. You win. You won that particular situation. Furthermore, um, apprehension of an individual, taking someone into custody, is not the punishment phase of the process, uh, the, the process, as I see it, you got too many uh, guys that just want to right there, right then and there on the street, pow, take them down. Darren Wilson turned loose. They say about twelve shots. He hit Mike Brown six times. What happened to those other uh, six shots? He could have easily shot someone else. Now. What so many people are quick to say, well, what about black on black crime? What about these guys that come and just spray a whole party and kill innocent people? Well, Darren Wilson could have easily done the same thing. It's not just, but after that, it's not just one agent, one actor. We watch the system contort, manipulate,
present evidence. Now, you know, all the evidence, findings, the investigation, supposed to be confidential. Yet, whatever they thought would help Wilson out and now Sandra Bland, um, you see it leaking out. Results of the autopsy. We don't have a system. This this legal system, for lack of a better word. We have an illusion. We have a set of practices that turned against the people a long time ago. And it's just, and I'm not speaking just as an African American, a person of African descent. I'm speaking as a person born and raised right here in this country. Things are way out of whack. We want to educate our kids. Home stolen from me by a pack of bankers in a room somewhere. And uh, they all got away. Not only did they get away, they got, they got away with uh, a whole lot of money. Parachute. Examine our, what's happening in society. What the establishment has no respect for the people they glean money from. And make no mistake, they intend on gleaning the field. They want to get every last drop. It's to the point now where they actually feel like, they act as though they're more entitled to your money than you are. Sandra Bland should never even been arrested. She had broken no law. I don't care how flippantly she spoke to the police officer. He asked her, are you upset? She answered, yeah. She told him, yeah, I'm upset. You stopped me for nothing. When she had the temerity to speak to this guy, you've you, you seen the, the, the video, the dash cam. He went straight from zero to 90. It was on. He was going to show this so-and-so who's boss. And now she is dead. And this patrol, this trooper, sitting at the house. Something's wrong. We're, we're, we're in trouble. And more than just trouble. We're, we're a great peril. There are those of you who will say, oh, she, and I'm going to tell you right now, no, she didn't. And the funny part about it, they victimize us, but they're using you. And sooner or later, listen, this prison industrial complex, they can't keep it going just off the backs of people of color. When they go from ethnicities to financially deprived, financially strapped, it's going to start being a whole lot more of y'all. This whole social experiment, melting pot and democracy and Republic. It's a hoax. We're all in great peril. And I don't see how so many people just don't get it. I'm Vince.
presenting Vince. I'll attach my uh, Facebook, Twitter, plus one accounts, even YouTube. Folks, wake up. Something's wrong right here. I'm out.